Hello. In this video and the next, we'll be learning about the DTS Creator Object Based Panner. This is the mono instance of the panner. And as you can see, starting at the top, this is the speaker configuration that you're monitoring in. On the right are the snapshots, which installs with only a default position. If you move the object and then select default, it restores the object's original position. I can move the object and store a new position called right. If I go to default, then back to right, I am back to where I stored that position. I can cycle through these positions even if I'm automating. I can create a new snapshot called left and cycle through. It is important to note that they are in alphabetical order. So if you want to recall in a certain order, it's probably best that you name them with a number or something at the head. I can also restore the default position by option clicking on the object linker. We can move the object anywhere in space and the position is reflected at the bottom by the X, Y, and Z knobs. X is left and right, or in Pro Tools, front. Y is back and forth, or in Pro Tools, that would be front rear. And Z is up and down, or height, in Pro Tools. There is also a rotate function which always centers around the object linker. If you move the linker, you can see how it affects the rotate. The spread is not active in mono, but we will go over the linker in more detail in the multi-channel panner video. The indicator on the side is also a slider that allows you to move up and down in your z-axis. Option clicking on the linker also sets you back to the default position. We have both freehand and wall mode pan modes. In wall mode, the z is grayed out and you can't access it directly. The height is automatically calculated based on your position in the room. When in wall mode, X, Y, and Z automation are all being written so that it plays back properly even if you change modes. Wall mode is useful for mixing using only two controls, X and Y, or simply by using your mouse. Like most functions in Pro Tools, option clicking a knob returns it to its default. Size varies the apparent size of the object in any speaker configuration. You can also option click it to set it back to zero. As with renderer input, there is a solo and mute that only affect the monitoring and not your recording. In our next video, we will go over the functionality of the multi-channel instance of the DTS Creator Panner.